way though, there is your event leader, your world news champion in waiting. And he only runs, I say only, 2 minutes 57 for this 1,000 metres. So, the final event of eight in the boys' octathlon. Four very close places, but the event leader, Kirsten Walholm, who has been superb throughout this two-day competition. Personal best after personal best. But it's Gabriel Moore from the USA, who is currently in fifth place. He's a little bit adrift of the fourth place at the moment. But he's setting out his stall because he knows that he has to run well to even get close to potentially winning a bronze medal. Two minutes 51 in his, is his best. So it might be out of reach just a little bit for the United States athlete. But look at the athletes bunch behind. The cagey time of multi-eventers. They know what they have to do. The coaches would have told them they'd have converted the points into the time. And they'd have been told, do not let this athlete be this far ahead. This is what you have to do. Chester Polov there, poised perhaps to take the silver medal. He's in uh, second place in this race. And he's uh, ahead of the rivals, Dolezal of Czech Republic, well behind. Indeed, remember just 26 points covering the silver medal to the fourth place. So it really is up for grabs between Chef Topolob, Warholm is the leader, and comfortably so, and Dolls out, and Androloites of the Belar Belarusian. So, Gabriel Moore leads. Shestolov putting himself in a good position to potentially grab a silver. The bell goes on the final lap of this boys' octathlon. Moore is fading, but Shestolov of Russia, he is pouring it on. He wants that silver medal. He wants to pass. Dolls out of the Czech Republic. I'm looking back in the field to see where the Czech athlete is. He looks in about eighth position at the moment. He is 12 seconds slower, the Czech athlete, on paper than the Russian. This was always going to be a big ask for the Russian not to pass him. With 200 metres to go, the Russian's in second. The lead has been taken up by the Finnish athlete, Hannah Leinen. And a huge finish coming here. The event leader, Kirsten Walholm, is giving the crowd a wave. The gold medal was his. He's going to be the world youth champion. Kirsten Walholm from Norway. So the result of the second of those boys on Chapel on 1,000 metres. Carsten Warholm from Norway. The celebratory finish, the personal best. He was crowned the champion. And in lane eight, Carsten Warholm from Norway. So a clean start and fourth from Cuba in lane number seven, reacted and gone out well. But Warholm of Norway, He's running very well indeed. Link from the USA in lane number four going well, but it's the event leader, Carsten Warholm. 13.87 seconds. A personal best performance for the Norwegian. Gets a decent start. Santiago probably got the better start than he did, but technically doing very well. A little bit high over the hurdles. But in between the hurdles, his foot speed was just superior to everyone else in the field. Carsten Wolhoen from Norway, 13.86 seconds, a personal best performance in the final heat of the boys on table. In lane number two, Warholm from Norway. So a clean start, and Warholm of Norway got out very well indeed. The distinctive straight right arm is leading this 100 meters very nicely indeed. 10.87 seconds. That's a tenth of a second personal best. Into a minus 0.9 headwind. So wonderful running by the Norwegian. And there is the confirmed result for Norway. Carsten Warholm. 10.86 seconds, or as Kareem said, 892 points. Carsten Warholm. This time looks a little bit nervous. That's restrained, by the way for his introductions to the crowd. There, there comes the chest pumping. 
They are away. So how quickly will Kairon Clement claw back Vahom? Well, actually, it's the Norwegian who's got away from the American. He's closing in on the youngster from Qatar on his outside. Vahom leads at the moment. Has he gone too hard too early? Well, we'll find out in around about 15 seconds. Big, big lead. Capello going well. Second from the outside. And now Kairon Clement starting to close. Really good running by the youngster from Qatar. But Vahom has put himself in the driving seat here. He leads, but Clement is closing. The Americans coming. Can Vahom hang on? Capello on the near side. So tense, so tight. Vahom, he's the world champion. Capello and Clement do battle for the silver. Wow, what a shock, what an upset. An absolutely brilliant run there from the Norwegian. He went eyeballs out right from the start. We expected the Olympic champion to close, and he did. We expected Capello, the bronze medalist from last year, to close, and he did. But somehow, his stamina held firm, and he makes history for Norway. They've never won a medal in this event before, and they have done now. It's gold. We were hoping maybe that he would produce that wonderful triple championship goal, but not really. Vorholt was absolutely flying. We knew he was going to do it, guys, didn't we? He always goes out so hard. Down the back straight, Clement had him in his sights. Capello was running wonderfully well on the outside, nice and controlled, just as Clement is at this point. You can see the two taller big guys. But coming into the home straight, Vorholt had... He, He'd set up such an advantage. Clement on this point was coming back and was on a roll and was chasing the four, five meter deficit, but it was coming into the final two barriers. Clement absolutely lost his stride pattern. Watch the American here inside the Norwegian. He's on a hunt, he's on a hunt. No, took it on the wrong leg, lost his momentum. The Qatari, I think, was absolutely falling all over the place. But look at that finish. Strength, stamina, drive and desire and rewarded with a gold medal. Karsten Varholm is the world champion and now potentially the rock star, the defending champion, the European champion, the second fastest hurdler in history. Karsten Varholm is fired up as he always is. Samba's got to go out hard on the outside because the big boys are all coming through. Vahom has gone out brilliantly. He's already up onto Santos. Right, Benjamin's onto Lahulu's shoulder. And Samba's not at the races at the moment. Has Vahom gone too early? Benjamin down the back straight with Vahom on his inside. What a finish to a great night of World Championship Athletics. Three of the four fastest in history. And it's Vahom with the edge from Benjamin. McMaster on the inside running well. Vahom's beginning to tire and Benjamin's trying to close. Watch the clock, it's going to be fast. Carsten Vahom defends the title. 47-44. It was sensational. Not a world record but a performance of real heart, of real guts, of real courage. His is a mercurial ability that marches on and on. We can see here the pictures on the back straight. He went out hard. It's the only way he knows how to. Benjamin was going well at this point as well, but Varholm was up. He's striding out there, really controlled as he took the eighth. But just at this point here, we thought Benjamin may have come through, but he just starts overstriding. He did well, actually, to still do hit that 10th hurdle, come through for the win. The second fastest man in history successfully defends his world title.